Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We have temperatures in the 80s right now, but we're expecting to drop down into the upper 70s over the next couple of hours. A 79 at 7 o'clock, generally dry conditions in most of the Miami Valley. Again, that 10% chance we'll see a spotty shower, uh, but by 9 and 11 o'clock, definitely looking dry. The skies will actually be clearing through a good part of our evening, down to 74 through 11 o'clock. Very light breeze from the southwest. You can see our satellite radar loop uh, with the action that developed, especially in the southern half of the Miami Valley. Northern counties man managed to stay dry this afternoon, and there's just that weak. Circulation in here, that counterclockwise rotation is an upper low working through the region. And with some daytime heating, we we're just able to see a few of those showers pop up. On a wider view, you can see how small scale it is. Much of the Midwest has been quiet, at least from southwest Ohio on into most of Indiana and most of northern Ohio. It was just that one area here that got to see that little activity develop. And as we go through the afternoon, temperatures were able to warm up into the 80s. So right now we're sitting at 81 degrees, even though we did have some rain and that cooled some spots into the 70s. But as it ended and the sun came back out, we warmed right back up. 83 back towards Indianapolis. High pressure at the surface, but again, that upper level feature coming through, kicking off just a few of those showers. You can see how the dew points have increased. We're sitting at a 67 degree dew point, which is a muggy feeling out there. That is going to be the case over the next few days. We're not going to see a big drop in that activity. So, our muggy meter, really for the overnight and uh, through the day tomorrow, we're going to go with that humid feel. Uh, not terribly oppressive, but those dew points will be ranging between 65 and 70 degrees. It's 81. Winds are pretty light and very Variable, three mile per hour breeze, high dew point, and that does give us the heat index of 84. So it feels a little bit warmer if you're standing out there in that heat and humidity. Our future track forecast model shows again the potential for an isolated shower this evening. This is 8 o'clock, but I think most of the area will remain dry through the evening and overnight. As we start off Sunday, we expect a dry morning, 8 a.m., things look great. Going into the afternoon, again with heating, we may see a few of those showers pop up. Tomorrow's chance is just about a 20% shot. So a lot of locations will miss out on rain altogether tomorrow and just deal with the warm humidity. Up to or down to 67 for the low tonight, an isolated evening thunderstorm, then just mostly clear and mild. We've got that light and variable breeze. And tomorrow afternoon, another very warm and humid day, mostly sunny up to 87. Again, that slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. And your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Next week looks unsettled. It's not going to rain all day, every day, and one location may not see rain all of these days, but the chance is at least there for some scattered activity. Best shot will be in those afternoon hours, and we're going to stay warm all the while. Humid too, with highs generally run, ranging from the mid to upper 80s. It looks like good timing for Friday and the upcoming weekend, as the trend is going to be to dry out during that time frame and to stay warm. One of the last weekends the pools are open, believe it or not. Yeah, perfect timing. Thanks, Jamie. Okay.